guys, just at Coles. I just finished work for today. Vivian's making pizza risotto for the family to eat tonight. Yeah, to make it like cheesy. What's up guys, just finished work, went to buy food for dinner, just prepared dinner, I'll well, cook it probably an hour. So I got the blender out, beef blended, mix the food spices, and tonight what I'm making for the family is tacos, tortillas, whatever you, you want to call it. So we're gonna have that tonight. So I got migoreng with extra uh, chicken loaf, Corona on deck, and just doing a bit of editing. So I just woke up from a nap, and Vivian came over. Vivian's just making some soup, tom yum, with fish balls, seafood sticks. The whole jar. Nah, it's just This is what I've made. Tacos, lettuce, minced beef, cheese, sour cream. We've got some boat tortillas and some soft tortillas. Enjoy. Show you what I'm going to put in mine. Come on, boat, lettuce, cheese, meat. Oh, I put cheese. And drizzle some sour cream. There you have it, simple. Mmm, mmm, yum. Try it. Oh, yeah, forgot special sauce. There you go. If you're wondering why we're sitting down having dinner, we've been doing this for years. You know why? Because there's no TV in the kitchen. <laughs> And now I'm off to the city to do my get my visa to go to China back back to China in Harbin to finish a project that I started with a company. I'll only be in China for about 10 days because there was some products outstanding that we needed to rectify. So now all the, the products is actually on the in the container on the boat on the way to China. Should get there around early December. I'll be traveling there around that time. Just manage the container, manage the unloading process of all the products. So what the project is Harbin Bank. So the company that I work for, they, they fitted out the bank with all the workstations, offices, meeting tables, conference there. So I went there in July, June. I went there in June for three months just to site manage the site, make sure everything's right, make sure the, the subcontractors, the installers there are doing the right job. So yeah, it's a good, good opportunity for me. The year before that, I went to Vietnam for about three weeks for United Nations. I had an office there in up in the north there in Hanoi. So that, that was pretty much similar, but on a smaller scale. That's only four, four levels, workstation, offices. This one in China is 30 levels. I just got to the city, now I'm just um, looking for parking. I'm not parking for long, probably about 30 minutes. 30 minute parking. Bit busy today, Saturday. Just found parking right in the center of Chinatown. Free parking as well. Yeah, let's go get my visa sorted. So it's just it's only like a minute walk. Um, it's gonna take four business, four business working days, and then she'll call me, and I'll come pick it up again. And I'll also check my flights; they're pretty, pretty expensive. We get a regular cap, two equals, please. Just about to get to the land. Wow. Just doing all paperwork. 
do my tax get that out of the way before it piles up so this is my barbecue it's got a Weber bought these And I got this just in case because it's a total fire ban today. But I, I don't really care. Once it's ready, I'll get back to you guys. So I'm holding my DSLR because my GoPro is charging. So this is all the meat that. I've got ready for some lamb, steak, some pork belly, and some like pork patties, which in Vietnamese is called nem nung. If you guys tried it before, let me know. Making the Nam Noong patties. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more videos.